I yeah. am yeah. Indians. Yes. Yes. Because yes. I'm a yes. rational person, yes. I want to find out if this is, and God changed my life, completely took me from that kind of point in life to this point in life, yes. and I'm still grateful for the yeah. process. Well, that, I, I appreciate you sharing all that because that, that certainly makes uh, th this work, uh, I understand this work much better now because of that background that you share. So what was the impetus? What was, the, I, I, and I'm sure that's what it was, but how did you go from, okay, I have this pain, I have to live with it, now you're exposed to the gospel, I've got this pain and someone shares it and someone has taken that pain on the cross and given me a new life and such things. How does this come about then? How does this work? How does this, that's all in your spirit and your mind, how do you get this on paper or, or how, can you take me through uh, yeah, that process I, a little uh, bit? Pastor Mark, I feel it's my duty now to let people know about that. Yeah. I feel God is calling me to make people aware that God is a redeemer. Yes. God is, 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 yes. is the one who really loves and, and cares and gives. And he did all these huge, tremendous things to me, though I was nobody really, but he brought me in and made me one of his children, took me through this journey from Iraq with my wife as well, who accompanied me to Lebanon, to Syria, and to the U.S. God is trying to witness to people through his servants, like you, Pastor Mark, as well. And God wants to share his story. Mm -hmm. I believe publishing is an important yeah, aspect today yeah. in life. Absolutely. I know uh, my joy actually speaking to, with people. My joy is to engage people and talk to people, see them in the eye and tell them what is going on. Yes. But writing is important as well. I start feeling God is calling me to write and I wrote my first book, America, Jesus, I'm neither a refugee, just to bring a testimony about how America was great to me, bring him in and how that was more like what Jesus actually did to me. And as well with God rises against ISIS, we don't have to put up with ISIS anymore. We don't have to put up with evil any, any, anymore. You know what? We can make a decision to be with God against yes. evil. It, it, yeah. We gotta stop this. We gotta say no to evil. We gotta raise our children in a way that really appropriate and, and nice and peaceful. We gotta take care of our wives, our friends, our neighbors, our relatives. We don't have to, to make bad decisions we can really make a great decision. Why? Because of God and what yes. he has done to yeah. us. Yeah. And that's when I put that idea that evil has existed forever from the, right from the beginning. Yes. Evil has been there and it's been with us all along. We need to be aware of that. It's an entity, it's a presence, but we can stop this when we are yeah. guided by God, when we align our life with God. Yeah. And that's why I, I wanted to show people actually through a very rationalistic, philosophical, theological, yes. sociological, yes. psychological approach. Yes. I have used a lot of resources, if you have yes, not discussed too much. I use a lot of did. philosophers yes, and did. thinkers yes, from Greek yes. to, to English to yes. German. To, yes. I, d this is the same way. It's a view that is general. It's not the abnormal. This is the general yes. view. Yes. And once you understand, you'll be able to make your decision. Yeah. God yeah. has come to overcome evil, and He did already. Yeah, it, 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 it's a, a very uh, profound scholarly work um, yes. that you do take us through this idea of evil is here, um, and all of the thoughts and the minds and the theologies and the science um, all come up short. And that, that was my takeaway that, from the book. Sure. That yeah. They all come up short. Uh, it's only our relationship that we have with Christ um, that overcomes that and, and allows us to live through that in, into a new life. And I, uh, I so appreciated that. That was my takeaway. Um, so well done, my friend. Yeah, thank you, Pastor well Mark. Because as, as I, uh, you've seen it probably, I tried everything. Religion yes. didn't work. It, right. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Evolution yes. didn't work. Yeah. Science, yeah. great, didn't work. Yeah. Technology, awesome, it didn't work. Yes. Philosophy, great, I, I love it, it didn't work. Psychology didn't work. I tried all kind of disciplines and, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. branches of knowledge to yes. just figure life out, figure yes. the meaning, the purpose of life, why yeah. we're here, where we're going, what's going on. Yes. Nothing worked. When I came to the Gospel of Jesus Christ, it finally worked. It's like, right. wow. Yeah. That's the jewel I was looking there you for, go. and it's it's it's, it's yeah. consistent. It's so bring me to the modern day. We have a few minutes left here. Bring us to the modern day. Uh, what what's happening in your life? Uh, well, what's uh, uh, what's the latest? Well, we worked in Buffalo, mm -hmm. uh, beautiful city, Buffalo, yes. and we stayed about eight years. My wife and I, and our children, Rosa, one and Rachel. And now we're, we're in Binghamton, New York. We're working with the Christian Mission Alliance to plant a church in, in Binghamton, Johnson City, actually. So we're trying to just. To, you know, connect with people. I made a lot of good friends nearby and neighbors and 
Um, we're trying to basically, as, as we always try to do, to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ, to bring hope, to bring joy, to bring reconciliation, to bring solution into the life of people in Johnson City. We're trying to, to, to guide them toward God yes. and trying to convince them this is the right way. Jesus said what He said about Himself. He's the, he's the, he's, he is the life mm -hmm. and He is the resurrection. He is the door. He is the Son of God who came to give us life and life to the full as in John 10, 10, life to the full. Yeah. Okay. And I believe this is our calling. My wife and I working 24-7 um, just to connect with people, to, to love on people, to be with people, to pray for people, and to really connect them to the source of life, Jesus Christ. Yeah. So that's... How will they, um, uh, we have uh, just a few minutes left, but, but how, how, what's the process? What's the game plan for people to connect to with you? How can they get in touch with you if, if they're searching and, and, and what you've shared here uh, to those that are listening and hearing maybe for the first time? How, how, uh, what's, the, what's the game plan to connect to people? We have a, a, a building in, in Johnson City called the Community Bridge or the Bridge Community. Okay. It's part of Valley View Alliance Church. And we are, we're, they have been doing for the past five years a lot of programs for kids after school, after school program, mm -hmm. uh, help them with homework, with activities in a very safe environment. So we're working with these guys toward the community. And we're about to start the classes actually in September, uh, two days a week for a few hours, classes about all kinds of things, but one of them Christianity support, for example, we're gonna try that. We just wanna get exposed to people as we're doing all these things, especially during winter. And we wanted people to come and see us and to be in touch with us. So hopefully that will establish a good relationship, not just with the community, which we already have done, but outside the community. And that will probably um, more engender relationship for the future that will enhance us to start a church, yeah. we hope by next year. Okay. And that church will be really for the community uh, to be, to be a, a source of flight and a source of life, a source of knowledge, a source of redemption where people can come and find themselves really embraced and loved and contained by their Lord Jesus Christ. And we are just the tools basically to facilitate that process. So you truly are a new church plant then yes, in Johnson City. Yes. So, let me, uh, my final question. Um, is there anything else you want our viewers or listeners to know? You have an intriguing story, you have an intriguing book, and I, I recommend it, God Rises Against ISIS. Um, is there, within like 15, 20 seconds, any final thought, any I kernel would say, of truth that you'd like to I share? I would say for everyone, um, especially for non-Christians, yeah. I would say try Jesus, search Jesus, Google Jesus, <laughs> seek Jesus. Jesus. I, I have made it very clear th throughout the book, Jesus is the answer yes. to everything. Jesus yeah. is the solution for every problem, really. You put Jesus in your life and you will never be empty again. I would say this is how, how, how things are. I have, as you have s said it, Pastor Mark, it's not just a speculation, yeah. it's not just an idea or invention, it's a true. Yes. And what Jesus said about himself, I am the truth. Absolutely. He definitely, testified right and his testimony is backed up by evidences. Brother, thank you. Thank I, you I truly you appreciate it. I'm so glad you were a part of this. Again, brothers and sisters, have a wonderful week. I'm gl so glad that you joined us on this encounter program. Have a great day.